Hello guys, uh, welcome to Smart Beam by Masood. So today we are here uh, to provide another script in Dynamo, which enables us to uh, make another task more efficient and less time consuming and faster, easier. As you know guys, uh, in a normal process, if you have a project, for example here, I have this residential building, as you can see, it's a super heavy project. Full of details, columns, beams, with all of the details for the rivers that I modeled this uh, project a few years ago. Uh, but let's imagine that we are going to export the, the schedules of different elements in this project. I've already created the schedules like river schedules, structural framing, or structural column schedules. In the normal process, if we want to export this schedule, uh, into the uh, Excel file. Uh, the normal task is we're going to dispatch export. And in the bottom option here, we have the reports, schedules. We have to define the pass and the name, okay. And consider this, we just have these two options, text file and CSV file. And there is no other option for Excel file, as we can know, as we already know there is a difference between CSV and Excel file. But okay, let's go together and see what happens here. We have to define the delimiters and other options like the header and columns which are limited here and we don't know exactly what's going on okay uh, here yeah that's one yeah this is the file and as you can see the file is not well sorted and well defined because uh, for example here we have to define the the type of this column in order to show us better this value and uh, as you can see it's not well sorted and really uh, professional and uh, the options that Revit gives us in order to control uh, this export is are limited which are limited and uh, we're not able to uh, control the exported files in a, in a way that we really want but uh, there is another problem also in Revit. Uh, if we want to uh, export all these schedules, while every time we have to go into the each single schedule and go through the paths and select the options and these kind of things. And consider if we have, for example, here 10 different schedules. So it's a little bit time consuming for us. And in the bigger project, in the larger scale projects, if we want to uh, do this task, um, you know it's not a really professional way. Now we are going to analyze the Dynamo code which I already uh, provided and see what's going on in the Dynamo. Okay, uh, in this script, first we need to select the schedules that we created in the Revit. So simply we need just to use categories and all elements of categories to see all the schedules. Uh, I select one. There you go. Now we have the, all the schedules, the structural column, rebar, and the structural frame. Uh, as you may already know, we are not able to select all of these columns, uh, all of these uh, schedules one by one when we are going to use a Dynamo player later. So there is a node drop down. If I search it here, drop down. Yeah, this one from the package of the springs. First, you have to install this package springs. And then if you search drop down and select this node here, uh, we can use this uh, node which enables us to uh, select every single element from a list that we give to this node. Here, we, our list is here as an input. We need to uh, define a custom message or also a name for this node. And also this reset, uh, which needs a Boolean follows it through. It means that every time I run, uh, it asks me this question or not. So I put it in the false because I just want to uh, select this uh, option once. And uh, OK, uh, in order to see the options here, I just want to once run. And yes, this note asks us this question to select uh, which of these schedule document, for example, I put rebar here and then select. Yes. It is selected. A rebar schedule is selected. Now we need to first get the data of this schedule using the schedule.data. If you search here, we can get and get access to all the data for this schedule. And uh, consider we want to export our schedule to an Excel. So 
if you search here just Excel, uh, you would have access to uh, different options like import, export from Excel, and uh, any other options that you can see here. But here we just wanted to export it, so we need this node export to Excel as you can see here. We need a file pass. Uh, using the file pass, we have to define a pass and then uh, a start row and column row, column row uh, start column would be from the zero. And here we need this node link element that get parameter about value name because we want to assign to the sheet's name the view name of the schedule. Okay, so I use this one so that our element would be the selected schedule and the parameter would be view name. If you go to the schedule here in the properties, this view name. We want to get this value and assign it to the sheet name of the exported Excel file. Okay, okay, and uh, I think we're done. I just need to put this one to this data, and yes, I just need to uh, define the data and also define the pass. So uh, now I'm gonna save this code here and close that dynamo I'm going to manage dynamo player yes here we have our code uh, if you don't see your code here you have to select this option folder and select the folder that you uh, saved your dynamo code and through this one uh, let's see what are our options here I forgot to tell you that I selected the pass file as an input file so that's why we see the pass file here I just need to select rows and go, for example, to Dynamo schedule here. Consider, yeah, fine. For, for example, uh, in the first option, I want to export the rebar schedule, so I put here just rebar and click right, right click here and in Microsoft here in game rebar. Yeah, select it, open, okay. Now play. We need to select the rebar schedule select it and there you go yes as you can see the rebar schedule all the data are here uh, as you can see here the type wire diameter and go on let's try another one uh, I'm gonna for example the other column sorry uh, column yeah Play the dynamo and yeah, structure column schedule. Uh, yeah, this one. Yeah, it's right. Okay, so we're done. Uh, we're done and uh, we develop this script. So in your project, when you run this code uh, using Dino Player, of course you would see all the schedules uh, that you already created in your project and you select each of them one by one. As you can see, it's more efficient and less time consuming. You don't need to open also the, the schedule files. Uh, we don't need to open them and just using the Dynamo player. Uh, I'm really glad to finish another video here together. Uh, please like and subscribe my YouTube channel for the upcoming videos. We're going to define and develop another discrete, more discrete uh, using Dynamo. And uh, if you have any questions, please write below in the comments or send a message through LinkedIn or email. Uh, I would be welcome to contact with you guys and discuss about the, your projects. If you're working in a company or in an office that you need to make autonomous uh, print frameworks that you're using in your uh, organization, I would be welcome to have a collaboration with you. So thank you guys and uh, see you next time.